Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing Martin Truex Jr.'s 2017 Kansas race win from May 13th when he won the Go Bowling 400. This is a really cool die cast I got off of eBay from user Fantasy Flicks. If you want to go check him out, I will leave a link to his profile in the description below. He has a lot of cool NASCAR memorabilia. Uh, but now let's jump right into the review. This is actually the first 124th scale die cast I've gotten uh, since 2010, so it's been a very, very long time. So this is going to be really cool. I, you know, I'm really excited for this, especially considering this was the race I went to and saw my favorite driver win, which is a really cool thing. So if we just take a look at the box real quick, you see it has all the race winning logos on it, has the car decal there, Action Racing's 25th anniversary, that's pretty cool. Over here it just has the Lionel Signature 2017 logo, it's a Platinum Series car. The back of the box has the Monster Energy Cup Series logo and the 2017 race schedule. And on the other side we have the sticker here, apparently this is one of 805, so uh, I don't know if they're still in production, so I'm not sure if that number is rising or not. Either way, a really cool diecast to have, and it also has this winner's sticker decal that the drivers get when they win the race. The top of the box has this neat design that all of the 2017 cars have. Obviously it has the Action 25th logo and the Raced Version logo. Found this kind of funny. I think here, right, this right here is a sponsorship disclaimer from all their sponsors, but down over here there's a sticker that you can peel off that has all of the same information, so it's kind of interesting. Now we're going to go ahead and unbox this sucker. And uh, let's take a look at the contents. We have uh, the Lionel Racing website and app. I actually have that. And is this a sticker? No, just really thick paper. So, yeah, I recommend downloading the Lionel Garage app and going on the website. It's pretty fun. If you have a diecast collection and want to show it, it's a pretty cool thing. Here we have the card that uh, commemorates Martin Truex Jr.'s win. Let's see, it's taped down, so it's... Yeah. There we go. So yeah, has all the stats on it from his win, which is really neat. Again, I was there. That was such a cool thing. Of course, here's a custom description of the win. Another really cool thing, so I'm going to set that aside. This is another really cool thing I like about Lionel. They give you race authentic confetti. I'm not sure if this is actually from the track itself. Might be. I don't know. Either way, it's really cool. I can add that. I actually I got to see uh, Truex's Homestead car, which was really cool. And uh, what's cool is that I got a piece of confetti from there. So I have a good amount of confetti that's pretty historic. Then here you get the race winning decal. That's a cool thing to do. I really want to put this on the door of my car. Uh, not sure if my parents would like that very much, but I kind of want to do it. So I did have to loosen a few screws to get this thing out of its packaging, but I finally have, and here it is. Martin Truex Jr.'s 2017 Kansas Race Win Diecast. By God, looking uh, again, this is the first diecast 124th scale I've gotten in a very, very long time. So this thing just looks so cool. Oh my God, this is such a cool car to have. I'm really happy that I have this one. It even has the <laughs> where the uh, quarter panel kind of bends in a little bit there because the burnout caves in back there and there's a the back of the car and I must say I remember seeing this car up close and man they've got it spot on so so of course some features worth noticing are the red white and black confetti on the towards the rear of the car obviously that's a nod to the gold bowling sponsorship of that race if you take a look nice and close, you can see the two winner's decals. Not sure if you can see it, but the right side decal is a little bit off compared to the other one. That is exactly where Martin placed it after he won the race. Just another detail that Lionel Racing continues to impress with. Another cool thing about this car, not that it rolls on its own or anything, but the front tires do steer, so if you want to prop it up on a stand, Maybe have it steer to the left a little bit like that. Maybe make it look a little bit cooler. You can do so. Underneath you can see the chassis of the car. 
really nice, a lot of color, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of real stuff. And also, in case you didn't notice, he shredded those back tires when he did the burnout. And Lionel Racing made sure they didn't miss it. Good God, that's so cool. Now, one cool feature of these cars is that the roof flaps, deck lid, and hood all open up. So they reveal different things inside the car. So if we take a look in here, that's how much it'll let me open it. I don't really want to break it or anything. Uh, I don't want to snap it or anything. So if you look inside, you can see the engine in there. See all the little nooks and crannies of the car? And then if you look up here, you can see it just a little bit, all the logos on the inside of the hood, which I think are pretty cool. If you look inside the car from about this angle, you might be able to see the, uh, the digital dash cam inside the car, which I think is just such a cool thing. So overall, this car is fantastic. I would rate it very, very highly. Every little detail, they did not miss a single thing. I mean a single thing, if you just look around, something I didn't even notice before was the tiny little 78 logos on the, each wheel, the little markings that people did to know which wheel it was, the little tiny skid marks on the bottom of the car, you know, towards the side, towards the front, little pieces of tape, the grill tape, all the little pieces of confetti on the back of the car, every little detail is just done so well. And I can't even show you some of them with the camera. They're just so small, so delicate. It is just a very, very cool car, and I highly suggest getting it. And, you know, maybe if you're not a Truex person, or maybe just want another Racewind diecast, I just suggest you get a Racewind diecast. They are so cool. I mean, you can get the regular paint scheme diecast, but these ones, I must say, are the coolest. It really is a part of racing history, and if you have a favorite driver that maybe won a few seasons ago, last season, whenever, you should really get a race win die cast of theirs because it just is the coolest thing. All right, that does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this Saturday, the Ellie Productions Cup Series will be visiting Daytona for the opener of the season. And that means next week we'll have a highlight video out with all the highlights from that race. Uh, you do not want to miss it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.